Hello, welcome to how to create a KiCad capacitor footprint, KiCad tutorial 1.5 part C. Now remember last time we decided that we are going to use this footprint for the capacitor uh, just to, to get you up to speed what it's all about. I want to show you the Vichy data sheet. And the capacitor we want to use is this 0 0.1 microfarad capacitor, diameter 24.1 millimeter, width or thickness 6.1 millimeter, uh, the 9.5 is the lead spacing, 1.7 millimeter, that is the uh, lead offset, remember that distance between the leads, and the wire thickness, six, sorry, the wire thickness 6.4 millimeters, and remember, it is measured over here. It is basically the diameter of the leads. Okay. So we have to open the footprint editor uh, just to show you that KiCad does not have that particular footprint. If we look in, in the capacitor through old technology library of KiCad, then you'll see it, if you scroll down, uh, C disk only goes to a maximum diameter of 16 millimeters, and that is too small for us. So we have to create our own um, KiCad capacitor foot, footprint. And remember last time, as discussed, Kika does not allow you to save any footprints in their libraries. You have to create your own library. And remember last time we created this library uh, um, capacitor and we created a test footprint just to see that it works. So let's start by creating a new footprint. You click on the new footprint icon, this horizontal IC with the green legs. It ask you for the name. Sorry, and the name we will give it as through old technology underscore C, which means it is not polar uh, disk, it is disk shaped. Then the underscore D for diameter of 24. Point one millimeter, then the width W or thickness five point one millimeter. Sorry, that would must be six point one millimeter. Sorry, six point one millimeter uh, and underscore. The lead spacing or pitch P, 9.50 millimeters. Click OK. Now, there, we have, there we have it. There's the name of our footprint. Just click on this and right click. And select move and just move it up a bit out of the way. And do the same with ref. Right click, click move, move it just a bit out of the way like that. Now remember, oh yeah, what I want to tell you is that we're going to place the fo uh, footprint symmetrical uh, across the, the zero. This is 0, 0.0, this is plus x, that is minus x, that is plus y, that is minus y. Um, so I just want to show you 
Now we're going to choose the coordinates. And the co coordinates we choose as follows. Because we, we're on towards the upper end, the lead spacing, we take half of that because we want to be symmetrical. And half of 9.5 millimeters divided by 2 gives us 4.75 millimeters. And in the x direction, also in the minus x direction, it is the lead um, offset divided by 2 is 1.7 millimeters divided by 2, which gives us minus. 0.85 millimeters. So that is where we're going to place our uh, first pad. So we're going to choose add pad. And remember, it's going to be over here more or less, like that. Let's cancel that. Select the pad again. Properties. Okay. That's correct. The pad number through all, yeah. Position, remember we said it's minus 0 0.85 millimeters. And the Y position, we said it's the half of the lead spacing, so it's minus 4.5. Seven millimeters. Okay, the size. Actually, remember the uh, diameter of the hole is uh, the diameter of the wire is 0 0.64 millimeters. So we make the hole size uh, 0 0.75 millimeters, and we make the total size of the the full diameter of the 1.75 millimeters. So that seems okay, so we click OK. And there we have placed our first pad. Now place the second pad, select the first pad, and we select duplicate. And we remember we're gonna put the other pads gonna be more or less over here. Going to right click it again. We're going to select uh, properties and the pad number is number two. But this time it's it's all on the positive side, so it's going to be 0, 0.85 millimeters exactly the same because it's symmetrical. The only difference is it's positive, and in the y position it's going to be. Uh, plus 4,75 millimeters instead of minus 0.75 millimeters. Okay, the size remains the same, the hold remains the same, the only difference is the two, so click OK. And there we have the second pad. Yeah, before we go any further, I think I made a mistake here. I just want to correct it. Let's go back. Pad one, go to properties. Yeah, it should be minus 7.5. I, I left it at minus 4.7, must be minus 4.75. Just to correct that, click OK. There we are. Not that you can notice anything, but at least now it's technically correct in any event. Okay, we can make the footprint a bit more generic. Um, so we can have much more options, whether we want to place it on the back or on the front. So select the first pad, right click, select duplicate, and move it slightly to the right. Right click again, click properties, make it pad number three. Uh, the X position would be now positive, so it would be zero comma zero eight 
5. And the y position will be minus 4.7. Comma seven five millimeters like that. Click OK. And do the same for pad number two. But I selected the right click, select duplicate, move it slightly to the left this time. Right click it, select properties. Make this pad number four, and position will be minus eight point five millimeters. And the y position will be four point seven five millimeters. There we go. Select, click OK. And there we are. This will give us now a bit more options. Uh, we can select, we can decide how we want to use this footprint, whether we want the capacitor on the front or the, or the back of the uh, printed circuit board. And click Save. Okay, so now we're going to draw the outline of the capacitor. And remember, we know that the diameter of the capacitor is 24.1 millimeter and the width or thickness of the capacitor is 6.1 millimeter. And remember, we're going to draw it symmetrical around uh, the origin. So we're going to draw the horizontal, top horizontal line at minus 12. 0.1 millimeter that is in the y direction and we're going to start the uh, horizontal line at minus in in the x direction at minus 3.1 millimeter and we're going to end it at plus 3.1 millimeter in the x direction so at Draw a line more or less something like that. There we are. Uh, I'm going to select it. And we're going to go to properties. Okay, remember we're going to make this. Minus 3.1 millimeter. Y, remember we decided that Y must be at minus 12.1 millimeter. And it must end at plus 3.1. Millimeter and this must remain at minus 12.1 millimeter. There we go. That's correct. So, okay, so just got to move this a bit up. This a bit down like that. Now we must do exactly the same as far as the uh, bottom horizontal line is concerned, except that it's now going to be in the plus y direction, in other words, at plus 12.1. More, uh, more or less something like that. 
Okay. And let's select it. Right click properties. Now it, we make that minus 3.1 millimeter. That must be 12 plus 12.1 millimeter in the y direction. That must be plus 3.1 millimeter because we're now on the positive side. And that must be, once again, that's in the positive side of x. And now we must we remain constant at plus 12.1 in the y direction. And then we click OK. There we are. We've got the bottom horizontal line. Okay, and now let's start and draw the left uh, vertical line. We know it must start more or less here and end more or less here. Right click, click cancel, select it, right click. Select properties, and we know it must start at minus 3.1 millimeter. And in the x direction, and minus 12.1 millimeter in the y direction, and then it must end at minus 3.1 millimeter in the x direction plus 12.1 millimeter in the y direction. Then we click OK. There we are. And now also draw the right vertical line. We know it must come more, must be more or less over here. Right click. Click cancel. We know that the right vertical line is a mirror image of the left vertical line. So let's select it. Right click, select properties, and we know it must start at plus 3.1 millimeter in the x direction. It must Start at minus 12.1 millimeter in the y direction. And it must end at plus 3.1 millimeter in the x direction and end at 12.1 millimeter in the y direction. Okay, sorry, there must be a one. Click OK. Unselect it, and there we are. There we have the outline of the capacitor. All we have to do now is click Save. And as you can see, it is saved and we have finished and drawn our um, um, own capacitor footprint. Just zoom out a bit. There we go. This is enough for now. Next time we will assign the footprint we have just created. We'll also choose a new uh, capacitor footprint and assign it to a capacitor. I do leave links in the description below. Please click the subscribe button. Let me know in the comments below whether you agree with my approach in the creation of this footprint. Thank you for watching and goodbye.